for this evening. So if you have plans heading out, it's going to be warm the next couple hours. But when the sun goes down, I think it's going to feel really comfortable. 79 degrees at 9 o'clock. So a nice evening coming up for us. Nice summer-like conditions. And lucky for us, the radar is dry. We've had a cool front that came through today. And had it been the right conditions, we could have seen thunderstorms along that front, but it's just a little too warm in the mid levels of the atmosphere, so it serves as a cap from keeping those thunderstorms uh, from de developing. Wasn't the case here this afternoon into portions of Iowa east of Des Moines. This is a tornado watch in the red outline and severe thunderstorms. Uh, they're now pushing into portions of southeastern Iowa and eventually into Missouri along that same cold front. So all that activity moving away from us back to the north and west, so it looks like maybe more showers and thunderstorms develop through the early morning hours. Those will push southeastward, but stay south of the metro area. So I think we'll be dry through the overnight hours, maybe just a few residual clouds from those storms early tomorrow morning, and then we'll have another warm and humid day on the way. Our current conditions, 88 degrees at Epley, dew point at 71, winds are out of the north, northeast at 13 miles per hour. We're out of the south earlier today, the front came through, and now we've got the north breeze and temperatures in the upper 80s. A quick look outside this evening, a uh, beautiful he view here, TD Ameritrade Park, nice sunshine. We had some clouds today, it looked like it could rain when that front came through, but again, it's that cap on the atmosphere that really kept storms from Forming. Spoke with our weather watcher in Auburn, Nebraska. 97 degrees there in southeast Nebraska today. Very hot conditions, even much hotter than what we had here in Omaha. 86 degrees at 7 o'clock. By 9, we drop back to 79. I think we'll stay dry here in the metro. South and west of the city, maybe a rumble of thunder overnight. You can see that on our storm predictor. There's the cool front that's now dropped well to our south. Complex of showers and thunderstorms just to the southwest of the metro at 6 a.m. That follows the front, stays south of Omaha tomorrow. Looks like a nice Father's Day. Warm conditions, very summer like day. Watch this warm front. It lifts north of us by early Monday morning. This is 6 a.m. We pick up a brisk south southwest wind that'll really mix up the atmosphere, drive temperatures back into the 90s on Monday afternoon until this cool front sweeps through. Again, we've still got a cap on the atmosphere at that point, so it doesn't look like a good thunderstorm chance here in the metro by Monday evening. Just a small chance. Uh, for this evening, though, maybe you're heading out to the College World Series. Florida, Virginia, 86 degrees, partly cloudy skies. By 9 o'clock, we'll fall back to 79. Should be a little more comfortable. And then overnight temperatures fall back to 66 degrees, 71 at 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. We may have some clouds, maybe a shower south or west of the metro, but I think we'll be dry here in Omaha for Father's Day. 89 degrees at 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Partly cloudy skies, southeasterly winds at 5 to 15 miles per Hour. So here's your forecast over the next three days. 89 tomorrow, warm front comes through, 93 on Monday, cool front then by Tuesday, 85. But that front just kind of hangs out in the area, really on and off through much of the week. So that keeps these chances for rain in the forecast. Some warm temperatures in there, lots of 80s, especially through the middle of next week. Now,